HIV AIDS and other illnesses for that. People who are sexually active. Although it's a very poor country. African Services has been in existence for the past almost 30 years. African Services' mission is to um, help promote the self-sufficiency of Africans living in the diaspora by providing health, housing, legal, and social services to support their adjustment to life in the United States. And African Services works abroad as well, in Ethiopia in particular, to serve the health care needs and HIV uh, service needs of Ethiopians living in poverty. It is estimated that out of a population of 75 million, over uh, 3 million has been infected. Every uh, society from all walks of life, life has been affected. It's, uh, in 2003 that we opened our first counseling and testing center in Addis. The main focus is providing a VCT service as an entry point to all HIV prevention activity. We are able to provide in two years and nine months a VCT service for 22,000 people. They can't separate the treatment from counseling and testing. They have to go parallel. And we were the only one, as a matter of fact, African Services Committee who have started market-based counseling testing free. I was tested before four years ago, you know. My boyfriend, he told me, just let, let's have the test and we're going to get married. At that time, things are different, not as just now. No counseling, we just go to, to testing. Yeah, I give my blood and he give uh, his blood too. And he's negative and uh, positive. I joined the African Service Committee. I saw some, um, a lot of positive people living like me. Oh, I'm not the only one, I said. And I, I got the courage to speak for the people I'm positive. Teacher is really bright. I believe that we will control this HIV in the next 10, 15 years maximum. We will, we will continue to fight this poverty, this disease, whatever that might be.